so good morning everyone today is gonna be a cool video it's gonna be me going to my old stomping grounds and as you can see we're here early gorgeous sky coming up actually florence is getting ready to hit the state of north carolina and as you can tell this is where we're going to be fishing at today man's harbor in the state of north carolina this place is a phenomenal place it's a it's a place where actually i moved to for a certain period of my life in between fishing bass tournaments i would come home and i was an inshore guide uh, for about nine years fishing for flounder trout puppy drum a lot of different things as you can see right here we got shrimp nets we got crab pots we are definitely in the saltwater area but the cool thing about it is we're actually going to do some bass fishing training uh we're actually going to you know back in the day i would literally use these stripers to actually train myself for bass fishing people talk about going bass fishing for bass fishing only and to train and get better but to tell you the truth it's really hard to train yourself on bass unless you have a phenomenal lake so today we're just going it's about getting a lot of bites setting hook setting hook when you need to be just feeling bites it's just fighting the fish it's just a good training ground so you guys stay tuned it's gonna be it's gonna be fun we're gonna get lots of bites hopefully and it'll be fun Starting off the first cast with a backlash. All right, let's try this again. Oh, they're already swirling on it. Oh, I had him. I had him. I was letting that crankbait just this funnel back in there, and they were already biting it. This going to be a bite. Told you. Told you. <laughs> oh. Swallowed it too. You know, again, I can't stress enough like that fish right there. These bridge pilings is almost like skipping boat docks. And as you can see, I skipped it way back. Oh, shoot. As you can see, I skipped it way back in there. And immediately he had it. So, again, you know, even though we're catching stripers, that fish was just like me skipping up underneath a dock and getting a bite. Good gosh! <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. You know, a lot of bass fishing and getting yourself in shape is, is is about reaction time so I'm really gonna I gotta confess on myself on that one when I pitched it over there I actually had a bite the very second it hit the water but I I second-guessed myself because I thought I hit the structure and it was him the whole time and just take for instance if I had 125,000 I was fishing a major tournament and that bass didn't give me a second chance that right there is just all in process of training yourself, getting yourself prepared, and getting yourself ready. You know, one thing that has become very, very popular in, in bass fishing world is a swim jig. So probably a good choice would be a swim jig, right guys? So let's, let's train ourselves a little bit on a swim jig. what I'm talking about I mean if that was a bass tournament and I I had that opportunity messed up mm.
got my leg. Got two of my legs. There he is. Oh gosh, don't break me off. Don't break me off. Don't break me off. Uh. Plated baits are a, a big part of the program right now in, in the bass fishing world. I, this bait right here is actually a, a clear bladed, as you can tell. It's got a clear blade weight system, and this this one in particular is called an A3. It's A3 anglers. It gives the action of your bait like a tremendous amount of action. So. If you watch that thing in the water, any bait you put on it just really puts your bait in a frenzy. There he is. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. You know. You know, when you are fishing a square bill. Again, guys, I know this is not a bass. But technically, it's just like we're throwing by a lay down log or whatever it may be. But it's just the point of getting in tune with whatever bait you're throwing. And yes, we are using. Ooh, that was close. Yes, we are using, you know, modern bass baits to catch these stripers. But, you know, all in all, I just caught a two pound bass. I was able to feel a bite, fight him, get him in. Just, you know, good training. There he is. Oh my gosh. There he is. There he is. I don't know how many that is on a crankbait, but I've had enough of training with the crankbait i want to try something different maybe maybe a top water you know these fish are really starting to they're really starting to bite right now so now that we've got some good training in on a square bill i think i'm gonna, it's about time for top water <laughs> very next cast Very next cast, I went from square billing to top watering. First cast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cool, man. That's so cool. Oh, oh that's so cool. Oh my god, that was an explosion. Oh my god. Oh. I really don't want to stop. I really do not want to stop. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Choked it, I tell you. Choked it. My boy wanted it. Look at that. He wanted it. Choked it. This is where the bent nose needle pliers come into, into play. Able to do these pliers allow you to see and do a little operation on them versus a straight nose. These are actually made by Kuda. Wow. My boy wanted it choked it and guys you i mean you can do the same thing i mean just you know if you live happen to live by the coast or there's a lot of great lakes you know that you can go fish or typically saltwater fish are always going to be more aggressive you know take the time go somewhere find out what season is in and 
that a lot of fish are being caught. It could be speckled trout, it could be tri uh, stripers like here at, 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 uh, in North Carolina. But just always take the time to train yourself as a bass fisher. Use other species to train yourself, get better, sharpen up on your skills. You know, here we're using a swim bait, and I know we're about to enter a season, tournament season, where some of the lakes we're gonna go to are gonna have a lot of uh, swim bait action. So, one thing that I've developed, and it's with Perfection Lures, you can find them on perfectionlures.com, but check this out, guys. This is, this is really cool. Not only do we have stand-up legs, so you can actually take your swim bait, uh, let it sit, it'll sit straight onto the bottom, and it does two things. So the legs are gonna stand up, and the legs are gonna allow it to come over brush piles, rocks. So a typical jig head, when it comes over something, it'll turn and get hung up. But the lures that we've developed there have legs on them not only does it stand up but when you come over them it doesn't roll so you can come over rocks you can come over brush piles and the cool thing is we got an actual screw lock in here and a l keeper lock system so what it does is this you see if you can see this see that right there it's an l lock keeper system you you bring it around and pinch it into your baits now you just watched me catch that fish it never moved never moved guys we know swim baits boot tails they average about a dollar 25 to two dollars a bait and and to keep these baits on your lures at all times so if you do miss one it doesn't fall down check out this jig head guys fisherman central perfection lures.com you can find them at those two places if you want to save your money and save your plastic this is a must when you're fishing with uh swim baits an absolute must oh yeah oh my gosh oh my gosh there he is guys i could do this all day long and i know we've got enough fish catches for this video but guys, I appreciate you guys subscribing, comment. You know the deal. Please subscribe, share if you can. Guys, check out these lures in the description below. I'll put a link to it. And as I always like to do...